What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a COD World War 2 themed Twitter header. Make a far zive come, yeah, want me back, I know they want me back, I see. So guys, as you can see, this is the header I will be showing you how to make in this video. Hopefully, if you follow along all of the steps, you will be able to make a really nice World War II themed header. Before I do start the tutorial, I would just like to say that there are two things I recommend you have for this video to follow along. You do not need them. There are alternatives, but I do recommend you have these. So the first one is my Desire Graphics Pack. I will leave a link to this in the description down below. Unfortunately, it is £1.50, but in this pack, you have a loaded different folders which you can use for design if you don't want to get this you can obviously do the tutorial without it but you won't be able to follow all of the steps and the second thing you will need is the Call of Duty uh, impact font this is completely free I will leave a link to that in the description down below some of you may already have that downloaded so go ahead and check before you do download it as I said these are not a necessity you don't have to have the desire pack you can try and find textures without it and also you don't actually need the font but they are recommended if you want to make it extra sick okay so without further ado the first thing you want to do is open up a header template now if you don't have one of these already just go to file new and make sure you input the size 3000 pixels by 1000 pixels and uh, you will get the same exact size as this once you have done that make sure you have a nice plain black background just double click on that go to color overlay make sure as I said it is selected as black and you will be ready to go so guys the first thing you want to do is grab your image now to do this head over to Google type in COD World War 2 wallpaper there is a lot to choose from I recommend the first two these are really good ones uh, the one that I actually use for the video is the first one so I'm gonna right click that go to copy image we can head over back to Photoshop press Control V on our keyboard that will of course paste it and now I'm gonna zoom out using Control minus just so we can see the whole document easier and as you can see the image is slightly zoomed in so I'm gonna press Control T on my keyboard hold down shift and make sure this is a little bit smaller so it covers up the whole document and press enter once you are done now what you want to do is add color corrections to this image now the color corrections I'm gonna use are from my desire pack as I said you can go ahead Head, make some color corrections for this use other people's ones but if you want the exact same ones as me then make sure to get my desire pack as I said so I'm just gonna drag and drop that and I will have all of the CC's in here I'm gonna enable the first CC and I'm actually gonna change the opacity of this to 59% then I'm gonna grab the second to last CC enable this and make sure the opacity is lowered a bit so I'm gonna put this one on 70% and finally I'm gonna get the last CC and it does add a lot of saturation so I'm going to put this one to around about let's say 70% as well you want to add a hue and saturation layer because I think this is a little bit too saturated so we're going to go to the bottom here and that will open up all of the color options you want to go to hue and saturation and on the saturation bar just turn that down to around about minus 20 um, I'm actually going to put minus 22 press enter and you can close down that box the next thing you want to do is head over back to Google this time type in old texture and literally grab the second one it's really high quality just right click copy image go back into your Photoshop document control V and as you can see it's so high quality that it's going to be really zoomed in so um, I'm going to keep it at that and now you want to change the blending option of this so to do this all you have to do is head over to the right hand side click where it says normal and that, that will open up all of the blending options and you want to change this texture layer to multiply as you can see it will add a nice sort of war effect onto that and we're going to change down the opacity as well we're going to put the opacity of this to 95% just so it's not as strong one more thing I'm going to do is go back to the adjustments layer here go to brightness and contrast and I'm going to make the contrast of this 20 and I think that looks really good as you can see that is the difference it makes the next thing you want to do is make a brand new layer on your document you want to go to the brush tool here on the left hand side make sure Sure your brush is set to around about 1200 will do press enter and make sure your primary color over here at the bottom is selected as black press ok and if you need to just press Control minus to zoom out and you want to add a sort of um, black brush effect on the sides of the image as you can see it's a bit too dark so we're gonna lower the opacity of this to around about I'd say 53% that's good you want to make a brand new layer once again this time make sure the primary color is selected as white keep the same brush size and just add that brush effect onto the top of the image I'm gonna actually add it over there and I'm gonna lower the opacity of this 
to uh, let's say around about 58 uh, actually let me put that up a bit 61 percent looks good the next thing you want to do is actually add your font so all you have to do is make sure you have this layer selected and grab your text tool make sure it's above everything and just type anywhere in on the screen i'm just going to write your name make sure as well you have the impact font as i said download that for completely free in the description and i'm literally going to make the size of this around about i'd say about 50 55 um, points is good and I'm actually going to grab my rulers here just so I can make sure it's centered um, it's a little bit bigger the text than the original one I made but that's okay it's still gonna work okay so the next thing you want to do while your text layer is selected is press ctrl J in order to duplicate it now you can hide that second one so that's backed up if you need to change anything and now I'm gonna right click on this brand new layer go to rasterize type and that will turn it from a text layer into a normal layer which you can edit what I'm going to do now is go back to my desire pack and I'm going to open up the grain folder. You can try and find some stuff like this on Google Images um, or you can just literally download the pack and everything's there. So I'm going to drag and drop that and I'm going to put it over the text and right click on the layer and press create clipping mask and as you can see it will create that nice clipping mask effect on the text. As you can see here this part's really dark and then this part's really light so what I'm going to do is duplicate that texture layer and I'm actually going to move it down a bit so so this part will actually show up so I'm going to right click that create clipping mask and grab my eraser tool and literally erase out that part and as you can see it will create that nice effect on both sides I'm sorry if I spoke too fast hopefully you understand that part if you didn't literally just go back on the video even play it in slow motion if you want okay so the next thing I'm going to do is add a drop shadow to this text so I'm going to double click on it that will open up the layer style page I'm going to go to drop shadow and I'm going to mess around with these settings so I'm going to increase the opacity um, increase the size as well and increase the distance to increase that size even more i think that looks good um increase the opacity a little so yeah those are my settings if you want to copy those down pause the video we've got 100 opacity 14 distance and 27 size so i'm going to press ok on that and as you can see it's looking really nice the next thing i'm going to do is actually duplicate that text layer using ctrl j and now using this bottom layer selecting uh, you want to use your arrow keys on your keyboard and literally move it down i'd say about three times you can move it down a bit more depending on the effect you want it to look like you can even move it to the side a bit but I like to keep it straight like that I think that looks really sick it gives a sort of 3d effect on it looks really nice the next thing I'm going to do is add some particle effects from my graphics pack as I said you can try find these on Google if you wish but I'm literally going to grab drag and drop these I mean from my pack it's a lot easier so literally drag and drop that and I'm going to put these in random places on the image I'm also going to actually lower the opacity of these so let me delete that I'm going to put the opacity of the particles to around about 38% actually increase that a bit more 68% looks good and I'm gonna press ctrl J to duplicate these and put them in uh, two random places on the header the next thing I'm gonna do is group all of the layers as you can see I already have but if you need to do this press shift on the top layer shift on the bottom and then press that group icon at the bottom and it will group all of the layers together and now we're gonna add our final effect so what I'm gonna do on that group press ctrl J and then ctrl E that will duplicate the group and then merge them all together and then we're gonna press ctrl J once again and now we're gonna add our first effect so we're gonna head over to filter at the top go to other select high pass make sure your uh, radius pixels is around about 1.3 you can increase it if you want more of the effect so I'm gonna press ok on that and now what you want to do is change the blending option mode to overlay and as you can see it will create a really nice detailed effect and I think it looks really nice the next thing we're gonna do is group both of these two layers so control and then control on the bottom press the group icon control J to duplicate the group and then control E to merge the group and then control J once again hopefully that wasn't too confusing for you guys and now we're going to go back to filter go to noise add noise and we're going to make the amount around about I'd say four point something it looks nice uh, this basically adds a nice green effect which we definitely need because it's a World War 2 themed header and we're going to press ok on that once we are done one last tip I use on all of my Twitter headers is to group everything once again press ctrl J and then ctrl E and now you have this one final layer you can close down all of the groups and make sure you make this layer um, opacity 99% and once you add this image on Twitter if you save it it will be 
even higher quality. If you keep it on 100% like this, it's not going to stay as high quality when uploading to Twitter. So that's a quick tip for you guys there. This is the final image here. It looks almost identical to the previous one, apart from the fact the text is a little bigger. And in my opinion, it actually looks a whole lot nicer. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and save this. You guys can add social media links onto this. You can add your watermark, whatever you wish. This is just literally how to make the basic header, how to add the textures and so forth. So guys, that is it for the video. Hopefully you did enjoy. And as well as that, hope I didn't speak too fast for you beginners out there. But if you do have any questions, put them in the comments down below and I will be sure to reply to you guys as soon as possible. If you did go on to enjoy this video, then make sure to leave a like. That would be much appreciated. As well as that, if you would like to check out any of my graphics packs, which are up for sale, they will help you improve your graphic design. I use my new desire pack literally for all of my client work. If you want to check those out, it's selfie.com forward slash visual JD. The link is in the description down below. Anyways, as I said, hopefully you did enjoy the video. This has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace. Not the same, we are not the same. We're not the same, we are not the same. Different name